What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I picked this game up day one, and I'm having some fun with it, and I wanted to give you my impressions of what I've played, the portion of the game that I've played. Now I'll say, to start off, most of the time when I buy a Call of Duty game, I buy it predominantly for the multiplayer experience, and most people do that. Most people buy Call of Duty, and they want to get in, uh, into the multiplayer PvP action. And that's really what I'd say a majority of Call of Duty players do. Uh, the last few Call of Duty games that have come out, I didn't even touch the campaign. I never wanted to play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare's campaign. I didn't want to play Ghost campaign. I didn't play Black Ops 2's campaign. I've been buying Call of Duty exclusively for the uh, multiplayer experience. Now, in previous Call of Duties, I think Call of Duty uh, uh, Modern Warfare 2 had it. Um, I, it's called a Spec Ops mode where you can get together with someone locally and you can play split screen and you can take down waves of enemies like a horde mode. And I always enjoyed those modes because I could in include someone. I play with my kids, I play with my wife, and we really enjoyed that that camaraderie of working together and taking down enemies rather than constantly being you know, in, in a situation where we're going against other human beings. One thing that they've changed with Call of Duty Black Ops 3 that I'm really enjoying is the campaign structure. Now, Call of Duty's campaigns are Call of Duty campaigns. It's really the same old story. Gigantic set pieces, crazy action, jumping, scaling walls, all that good old stuff. None of that seems to have changed. But one thing that has changed is the ability to play with other people. In Call of Duty Black Ops 3, you can play with up to three other players uh, through online matchmaking. You can invite people and you guys can team up and go through the entire campaign together. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I gotta say, it's a lot of fun. I've been playing with Robbie Skull, I've been playing with Kate. We've got a few hours in and we've really been enjoying it. I, I think the game is beautiful. Of course, what else can we expect? We've seen the, the game actually grow and become a more polished thing through the last few incarnations of the, the series. Ghosts look good, Advanced Warfare looked great, and now Black Ops 3 looks even better. And and that's what really what we'd expect. But one thing that I didn't expect was to have as much fun playing with other people and experiencing the campaign together. Now, Activision appears to have learned something from the juggernaut that is Destiny, that people enjoy campaigns together, people enjoy uh, multiplayer together. And so they're kind of bridging that gap between Call of Duty and Destiny. And who knows what will happen? It might turn Call of Duty this at least this version of Call of Duty more into what Destiny is more of a social gathering for people to get together and play the game it kind of opens up a whole new door for a lot of gamers a lot of people who normally wouldn't play the campaign because of the single player experience are more apt to play the single the, the campaign now because there are other people you can play with you can get your friends together you know you can get people you don't know and just run through the campaign and kind of enjoy it together and talk back and forth. To me, that whole social aspect of it makes the campaign a lot better. The game looks phenomenal. As you guys can see, it's a beautiful game. What else can we expect? One thing I will say is it feels so good. Black Ops 3, I swear, it hasn't felt this good since Black Ops 2. You know, I think Call of Duty Ghost Control well and felt really good. I think this actually feels better than Ghost, and it's light years better than Advanced Warfare. I'm amazed at all the stuff that you can do. The campaign, you level up the same way you do in multiplayer. Uh, you can create weapons. You can create, you know, custom outfits, all kinds of crazy stuff. I've I just scratched the surface of it, but I wanted to give you guys my impressions of this game. It's awesome. I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm going to get into the multiplayer probably tomorrow. Today's going to be an early night for me. I got a, some overtime I got to get in the morning. So I'm going to go to sleep early and get back to work. But tomorrow morning when I get home, uh, I think I want to go ahead and finish the campaign. Then jump into multiplayer and then jump into zombies. But I want to give you guys my impressions of Call of Duty Black Ops 3's campaign. It's great, especially if you're with other people. I think it would still be fun if you prefer to play by yourself like Colin Moriarty. But it is very, very fun. It's very fast. You know, the 60 frames per second is just insane. Uh, all the new things that you can do, these abilities are awesome. I think that this has trumped all Call of Duties uh, previously, and it's the best one I've played so far, especially when it comes to the campaign. If you guys have played Call of Duty Black Ops 3, let me know what you think. Have you tried the campaign? Are you willing to try the campaign? Do you think playing with other people will make the campaign more enjoyable or more approachable? Let me know in the comments below. As always, give a thumbs up and show support of the channel. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.